wake up San Francisco. <laughs> no, you're not on an episode of Full House, um, but my name is Sam and I just wanted to bring you um, a little kind of morning um, yoga sequence that you can do from your bed when you wake up in the morning. What could be better than that? Um, just starting the day off right. Um, so typically waking up, um, you may want to kind of slowly wake up um, if you allow yourself that time before just kind of waking up and um, charging on and kind of powering through the day. And everything in this video may not be um, applicable to you. Um, you may have different um, areas that need attention in the morning depending on the way you sleep. Um, neck soreness may be an issue. Um, but yeah, just kind of trying to put my head together and think of a few nice things that you could do for yourself in the morning. So typically, um, if you sit up in the morning in bed, um, it might be nice. You can, um, keep your legs out, um, straight in front of you. Also, it may be nice just to give yourself a little bit of that extra support of crossing the legs in front of you. But maybe just inhaling the arms up. And then you can clasp the fingers overhead, maybe taking a stretch, coming over to the left, over to the right. And then you can let go of the hands and bring them back down. Inhaling the arms back up. And you can do those hands up again if you like. Exhaling back down. And then we'll do one more inhaling the arms back up. When you sweep the arms up, then you just think of sweeping up all of the things you need for the day, emotionally, mentally, um, just all of the goodness. And then as you exhale and bring the hands back down, you can just let go and not bring things with you from yesterday or um, things you were thinking about as you fell asleep the night before. So then just maybe a nice little twist here so you can bring um, left hand um, to the right knee and just twist from the base of the spine up. The head and the neck should be the last thing to turn around. And you can come back to center. And then you can bring right hand to the left knee, twisting to the left. Back to center. Um, like I mentioned, the head and the neck uh, may be an issue. So in the morning, you may find it nice to just turn, look to the left. Back to the front, over to the right. Back to the front, over to the left. And you can move here um, as quickly or as slowly as you need. And back to center. You can even drop left ear to left shoulder, noticing all this nice space here. And then you can think of um, turning the neck up. That might be a stretch you need, or angling the chin back down to the neck or to the um, chest. You can add a little extra weight just by taking the left hand, and just kind of laying it on the ear, um, but not something you have to do. You can roll the chin across to the right ear. A 
comes to the right shoulder. Once again, tilting the chin up or tilting the chin um, down toward the neck just gives you a little more of a stretch kind of in the side, almost in the back left side of the neck. center. And you can, of course, um, roll quicker. You can right ear across, maybe the thumb breath, and then back the other way. And then if you find that this is a stretch you need just to kind of open um, the back of the neck, the chin through the chest, you can always take this one as well. And then just letting yourself, telling yourself, just relax, relax. Of course, if anything is pinching, burning, stinging, sharp, shooting pain, don't do it. Back up a little bit. Um, but if you just feel a nice sensation of stretch that maybe you're not used to or you're trying to allow your body to ease into a stretch, you can just repeat to yourself, um, I'm aware of sensation and I'm safe. So maybe on an inhale, you say, I'm aware of sensation, and then as you exhale, you say, and I am safe. So you can also inhale the arms up, and then exhale, left hand comes down, right arm comes over. You can come back up, right arm down, left arm over. You can come back up. You can also lean forward and you could um, let your hands come to um, your bed. Also, we've got built-in props in bed. So you can get a pillow, use it like a bolster. If the um, leaning forward is too much, you know, too low, too soon, you can wrap your forehead. Also come up and maybe you feel ready to straighten your legs so then um, you can lean forward you can raise the arms up overhead leaning forward once again you're just waking up so probably a little stiff not super loose um, so be gentle with yourself don't expect that you're going to be able to just like fold forward into a pancake um, and don't, yeah, don't like force yourself to get there because, you know, not expected. You can also be nice to yourself just with your nice, with your nice little pillow prop. And just rest your pillow or your head on your pillow. To kind of get um, into the sides of the low back here with your legs out in front of you. You can reach your right hand to the outside of your left foot, and then you can um, lean forward slightly. Now to target that back, you can just bring the right shoulder up in the air. You know, just notice a slight little stretch there. Bring the right, um, is that the quadratus lumborum, I believe? And you'll notice it even in, up in the back of the neck. So you can take that left hand to the right leg.
And you can, of course, stay there for as long as you like. And I know you were just laying down in bed, but also it might be nice to just um, bring your feet um, up. You can roll the ankles out. You can bring your knees into your chest. You can rock side to side or make little circles. Um, you could even um, take a little twist here, maybe like goalpost arms, and then just let the hips drop over to the right. over, or I think I said over to the right, but I meant to the left, and then over to the right. And then you could even um, get a little hip stretch here by um, coming out into a butterfly or recline bound angle, if that's what you're into. And then for the sake of being in your bed and having props, you can, um, you can put your pillow behind you like a restorative class. And this is just a nice way to get a little bit of a back bend going, a little bit of a chest opener, um, also a hip stretch. Just relax in here. And once again, as I stated, um, you can do any of these poses for as long as you like, as long as you need in the morning. Um, doesn't have to be in the sequence at all, but there are just a few things that I was thinking of that sometimes I do um, in the morning when I feel like I need to move a little bit, but don't quite feel like getting out of bed. So um, I will say that I'm happy that I was able to share these ideas that were swirling around in my head with you all. Um, I hope you use them uh, in a way that serves you well. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. Namaste.